Okay, hi. Right, this is going to be a very short, rough, down and dirty um, video on how to use um, OVGME, okay, which is a fantastic little tool for managing our mobs. Why would you want this? Well, two reasons really. Every single time DCS does an update, um, a lot of files it's going to overwrite with the originals. And if you've got lots of mods, it's like it's a right pain in the arse to um, replace every single one. Whereas this will do each one literally with a click of a button. Um, also, if you're going online and you want a pure client, you might want to, you, know, you might not want to um, to have those mods in. It might stop you from actually getting into an online server. So this um, this is a way that you can manage it. Okay. So let's get started. So the first thing we're going to need is OBGME, and that, that's available from our website. Okay. So we're going to open up downloads and here you've got OBGME. Um, you can either just uh, put that um, zip file on the website, uh, sorry on your desktop or we can just open it, copy that, okay and then we'll place that on the desktop. Let that do its thing. Excellent, okay next thing we're going to want to do is go inside this folder, so open that up. We want to go into bin, double click on that 64 because we're pretty much all running 64-bit systems. So we're going to click on that and we want REL release um, uh, Version of the EXE and then we're going to create a shortcut Then we're going to put that shortcut on our desktop Okay, we can then close that down and we'll just put that under there Now the next thing we're going to need is to create a folder. Okay, which is where we're going to where where we are going to store our mods okay so this tool is going to look for mods at, in this folder so we're going to create new folder and we're just going to call it mod folder call it whatever you like okay and we're going to put that there now you don't have to do this bit but when you replace a mod so sorry when you add a mod right what it'll do is it'll store the original file uh, file okay and it'll store that in its structure um, and it's in the program. So then when you deactivate it, it'll put the original um, file back in. If you want to keep, if you want to specify a specific folder for this, then you can, you can which is what we'll do. You don't have to do this, but we'll, this is what we're going to do. So we'll create a new folder and we'll call it mod, mod original. Okay, good. Now we're ready to get into the program. So I'm just going to run this as administrator. Let that run, and you're going to be presented with this. Okay, it might look quite complex, but it really, really isn't. So, first thing you're going to need to give you can have multiple configurations for different, you know, um, different games, whatever. But we're just going to call this DC. Oh, hang on. All right, we're just going to call this DCS mods. Okay, now. The way this works is it injects a file into, in this case, DCS, but we need to tell it where the root directory for DCS is. So what it, what you, um, so we just need to tell it where DCS is. Now the mods that we're using can go to lots of different locations, you know. Um, so examples I can recall at the moment, but you might have a cockpit, you might have a texture. You know, you might, you might have um, a Lua file, and they're all going to be in different locations. Now, the file, the file that we're going to be importing in the moment, that will have that file structure already determined by its its uh, folder uh, structure. Sounds more complicated than it is, but as soon as you see it, you'll know exactly what I mean. So we're just going to tell it in this um, a configuration root folder that we want to use DCS. So we click on C, we're going to go to wherever your DCS is, Eagle Dynamics, click on that. And um, I'm got, we're all using Open Beta, so I'm going to click on that. And that's as far as you need to go. You just need to tell it where DCS is. Okay. So we click OK. That's all that needs. Now it needs our mod folder. So it needs this one where our mods are going to be. All right. So we click on Browse, and we're going to go to Desktop, and we want our mod folder bosh now you don't have to do this this is the one that we we said that we uh, you know we're going to have um, uh, we're going to keep a copy of our original file in a specific location don't have to do it but if you want to do that click that and just point that 
at that folder. Bosh. Now we are ready to go. So we press go and there we go. And we can see our profile up here, DCS mods. If we have multiple profiles, so if you've got multiple games, you know, whatever's, then you just pick whichever one you want in there. But to be fair, I only use this for DCS, so that's fine. And that's it. Now you're going to be presented with this blank screen. There's no mods. So we need to put some mods in this mod folder here. So what we, how are we going to do that? So what we're going to do, we're going to open up this. Uh, I'll go to our downloads and we're going to click my um, uh, Spitfire mod pack as an example. Um, so now this is just a zip file. You, you, don't, you can't just put that whole file in. You need because inside of that is individual files for different mods. So if I open up this zip file, you can see it's a pack. All right. So we'll open up that and then these are the mods. So what we're going to do is we're going to copy those. We can get rid of that and we're going to paste those in this folder. There we go. So there's our mods. Close that down. And lo and behold, here are our mods. All right. Um, so how do we activate them? It's really difficult, this, right? So pay attention. You double click on the one you want. So for example, if I want um, uh, the Spitfire cockpit with the girl 2, double click. And it's now that is now active. And to deactivate it, we double click it again. Now, we told it we wanted to store a file in a specific location. In other words, our mods original. So if we go into mod original, it's now pop because this was an empty folder. And then here is our, um, uh, our original file in the file structure. Because this mod for the, um, for, the, for the Spitfire needs to go to a specific location. So we've already told this to go to DCS. Perfect. But then the file structure will be of our mod. It needs to go to mods, aircraft, spitfire, cockpit, textures, and that is the file that we've replaced. Okay. Because if we have a look at the um, the mod, the mods that we put in, okay, the structure is so that's just a zip file. It must be like needs to be a zip file. Open up that. It's told, and this is just the, the covering folder which says it's a photograph of a, a, girl, a cockpit girl or two. Open that, so it's telling this to go to DCS from our main directory, and then we're putting it in mods, aircraft, Spitfire, cockpit, textures, and there's our file. Okay, but this file structure location here can be anywhere within DCS. Okay. Um, if you wanted, for instance, to manage this, you or manage your um, save games directory, for example, then you would have you create another one of these and you'd point it towards, okay, you'd point it towards your um, save games um, uh, folder. Simple as that. And it's as easy as that. And then we can deactivate it, as I said, and it's now dead. Okay, and then if we open up this, this is now empty because it's taken that file and replaced it with the original. That's as complicated as OVGME is. Okay, It is really, really easy. Trust me, it will save you a bucket full of hassle. Okay, So it's a really, really good little tool. Okay, So again, activate that one. Bosh, away we go. You, you just need to make sure that any, any files you use, when you open it up, open up your zip okay you've got what it is and then this structure is where it needs to go okay if it comes up with an error if OVGME come up, comes up with an error says we, we can't install it more often or not it's probably just the file structure okay so mod that's just a covering folder which which is uh, where it is and then this structure needs to be where it needs to go okay I'll say <laughs> Excuse me. Um, it doesn't. The final folder or the final file that you're replacing doesn't have to be a zip. It can be whatever that file is. It just so happens that the um, the cockpit um, textures for the Spitfire are, zip, are is is a zip. Okay, so we're just replacing like for like. 
this could be a Lua script file. For example, I've got one on the website that does the Harrier um, countermeasure, pre-programmed countermeasures. That's just a Lua file. So I point, I just, that structure of that file just literally just points it to wherever the Lua file is held for the Harrier and bosh, it'll update it because that gets updated every single time you do an update. Um, you know, and that's, that's how you can do it. It's as easy as that. Okay. So I hope this has helped um, some people use it because it will make your life so much easier. Okay. Cheers then. Bye.